Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Met Gala 2021 looks for this year and which the theme was Alexion in American fashion. My mind went straight to Americana type of theme. Before we start, I want to say that these are just my opinions. Don't come at me for having a different taste or a different flavour than yours. Appreciate, don't hate, okay? <laughs> um, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the outfits on my phone and I'll leave like a little spot here showcasing the outfit and whatnot. Okay, who do we have first on the list? I do like a category, so I'll do those that I think got the theme and got it right. Then I'll do those that I think were total misses. <laughs> uh, those who went for a old Hollywood look who went for a cowboy western look and then those who went for a futuristic look. I noticed those three common things that came across and some of them were like Americana, some of them were, I don't know, Zoe Kravitz who she was wearing is Saint Laurent. I actually really liked this look. Um, my mind went straight towards like 1920s um, crystallized diamonds type of look. I would probably go for this is more like an old Hollywood direction especially with like the dripping in diamonds and pearls how that was kind of the taste back then. As well as the silhouette it's very straightforward there's not really much shaping um, I like the modern twist to it with the bralette, like, not bralette. The halter is definitely a nod towards, like, the history of American fashion. Like, I, I did a little post on it on my Instagram. Halters have been around for ages, so I kind of like that. Um, it's given me very, like, 1920s, um, like, not showgirl. I don't want to say showgirl like performer like the stuff they used to wear i'll see if i can attach some photos here but how it's a very straight silhouette as well very common in the 1920s 1960s but overall the styling and just like very sheer just crystallized it just takes me straight back to the 1920s next look is yara shahidi in christian dior and cartier jewelry i love this one this is absolutely one of my favorites i think she nailed it quite well um apparently this look was inspired by josephine baker and i could absolutely see it especially with the little uh twirl at the front and um uh the little headpiece she has going on as well sitting on top um josephine baker is known for wearing a lot of like head weight uh head headwear <laughs> kind of style i think it's very unique how they did the gloves and the cape as a hood at the back um that's floor length i think they really tried to modernize it a bit but you can sort of see the influence of like josephine baker 20s and also like 40s a little bit with the gloves uh the silhouette of the dress how it's cinched at the waist flows elegantly like an evening gown at the back i do like that and her hair is very 40s like 40s 50s so i do appreciate that and i think she did a good job i really liked it looks really good here's my favorite model ever uh vittoria Saretti in michael kors okay now i'm gonna say this was a miss <laughs> in terms of the theme for the met gala um i don't think it really hit like americana type thing at all but just as a gown overall i do like it and i do appreciate it um if she's going for that 70s disco sequined sparkly type of thing then maybe it would work but uh, like i don't think it really hits the theme i mean maybe if she did her hair differently it could have totally gone more in that 70s room but um Overall, in terms of style of dress, I do like it. I do appreciate it. 
Timothy Chalamet in Hey to Ackerman, Rick Owens and Converse. I was actually, <laughs> I was so confused with the sneakers, not gonna lie. I was like, uh, okay. Um, but then if you look at American street fashion, like it was literally made and manufactured, high tops and all that, Chuck Taylors, like those were made in America. It's part of the American culture. So I appreciated that, that sort of way you know i could see like the street style influence in like a formal way it's still trying to introduce that urban side in a more sleek and we're going to the met gala type of look i do appreciate that um i wish we had more info in terms of like the little embellishments he has on the pants like i want to know if they made anything the top part tuxedo just like traditional men's tuxedo like i like the unique shape from the collar though so at least that's different <laughs> in terms of the americana theme i think half of it is there and half of it isn't <laughs> overall it's okay i think it's okay it's better than like black and white tux that we see every single year so i guess that's all right uh, Tessa Thompson in Iris Van Herpen. Iris is my favorite, favorite designer right now. And I'm so glad so many more celebrities were wearing her gowns because construction and formation and silhouette and ideology and just everything about her designs is so revolutionary. And I just don't think that we're ready for her yet, but she's definitely ready for us. You know what I mean? Definitely went towards the whole Western Americana route which I think a lot of people did with the whole bow tie, lasso type thing. Um, the cowboy hat, the cowboy boots, like even the dress is like spacey a little bit. But overall, I think she did a pretty good job. I really like it. I think if it wasn't for the hat or the boots, I wouldn't really see Americana in it. But I think it really does match the theme pretty well. And it looks amazing on her and just look at the construction i just even the silhouette it's like different but it's still stuck with the theme so i think she did an amazing amazing job loved it i was when i thought about american fashion right i thought about holston straight away okay i highly recommend if you haven't seen the uh little docu limited series um holston on netflix i really recommend that you go watch it it was so informative and revolutionary it's like He's like one of those designers who literally created a silhouette. Like you had Dior in the 50s, uh, you had Holster in the 70s, you had Alexander McQueen in the 2000s. They literally changed that that I didn't find or see anybody in Holster. And I was like, uh, he's literally American. <laughs> like, what? And then I'm so glad I went through the whole gallery again because I found this beautiful gown that Sophia Rowe is wearing is Holston. I was very, very happy about that. And she did a beautiful job too. Love the hair, love the jewelry. The dress obviously is a statement on its own. Maybe in my personal taste, um, this is just like in terms of Holston's style, like this is literally his style, you know what I mean? So I think maybe this, this particular gown for me, maybe it was a bit too long or it could be just the photo, but I'm really happy that someone did at least a Holston gown. Someone wore a Holston gown. I mean, come on. Holston, 70s, revolutionary. American fashion, dominated American fashion in terms of ready wear. Like, I'm just glad someone wore it. <laughs> this one is Russell Lea and Rick Owens. Also, another one that I think is towards the whole Texas cowboy Americana fashion. Mainly because of the tassels. Tassels. Mainly because of the tassels. I was thinking about that. I was like, if <laughs> if Lana Del Rey was there, I could imagine her in this giant like jacket with tassel jacket. Like, I feel like that is so Americana when I think about it. Like old Hollywood glamour, cowboy tassels like that whole scene so i'm happy that she went down that route as well gloves maybe i would have opted the gloves for like maybe a giant cowboy hat or something like a jacquemus hat type thing but like just really big i think in, in red leather would look really nice with it as well again my taste um but overall i think it's okay she still hit the theme pretty well okay like 
liked this one, but I'm a bit iffy about it. Uh, this is Rihanna in Balenciaga Couture, Maria Tash, Thelma West, and Bulgari Jewelry in ASAP Rocky in ERL. Um, I wasn't really feeling it. I think maybe because of the material, probably, was kind of a bit like, for me, but I get where it's coming from. Like, the collar, absolutely. The bottom of the gown, absolutely. I can totally see the influence there, but I think, for me, it was just the fabric. The fabric was just like not it. I could kind of see the old Hollywood silhouette influence. The collar definitely prominent at the time and definitely all the gowns especially had that scallop. How do you call it? The scallop at the end. The hem was like very flouncy. Like I get that but it just I didn't something wasn't in it for me. I, I can't describe it just it was there but it wasn't or it was there it was almost there but I don't know, Rihanna has so many better looks. I think just maybe this wasn't really one of them for this year. Again, my taste. <laughs> favorite, absolute favorite, 100% up the top, understood the assignment, completely agree. I don't, I hope I'm not butchering her name. I'm so sorry, please correct me. Uh, Kuana, Chase, Kuana Chasing Horse in Dundas. Please tell me I said her name right. Um, absolutely love the gown. I mean, I think you've probably heard this a thousand times now about the fact that her jewelry was actually uh, shipped there. Like, not shipped, was actually flown there for the event. It's actually part of the American Indian heritage um, and the culture. I really, all handmade, I really, really like this. It's like tapped in perfectly to like American Indian culture as well as the 70s silhouette disco type thing. I really, really liked it. And I think she did a really good job. And even the fabric, <laughs> even the fabric is spot on. I love the pop of turquoise as well, and the earrings and the jewelry and the bracelets, the cuff bracelets, a little detail that I found that was really nice. Again, really loved it. I think she did an American, uh, American, an American job. I think she did a fantastic job and I just wish she got more of the spotlight on the day. Like, hello, she understood the assignment and understood the theme 100%. Really didn't really see until I think a couple of days after the Met and that's uh, Paloma uh, Elsessa in the Zach Posen. Again, I'm also a big fan of Zach Posen. Love his work, love his silhouettes, love his construction and designs. Always looks amazing, very classic, very elegant. And I think they just did a beautiful job with this on Paloma. It's very, very old Hollywood. Absolutely there, the hair, the dresses, the silhouette, the whole hourglass. He was definitely high highlighting her figure. Um, I love how he did a unique twist though, how the end has like these little um, chul along the train and then he's got like a piece of the fabric kind of going down the arm. I think he did a good job. He kept it classic but gave it like a uh, a modern twist to it which I think is a really good job instead of just going like straight classic but I don't mind that either. I like straight classic as well. Um, adding a twist to it is always fun so that was cool. Uh, next one is Megan Fox in Dundas and Jimmy Choo Shoes. Um, definitely the bangs it was definitely a Betty Page reference again old Hollywood don't mind that um, the dress not quite sure I think we were heading in that direction I feel like we were getting that Betty Page rebellious like image to it but maybe a bit too modern I mean, not too modern, but like, in terms of the theme, I'm not quite sure which direction it goes in. <laughs> she said she was into like a vampire type of look, but I'm pretty sure that's European. So I'm not quite sure the exact idea and how that fits with the theme, but 
I feel like they were dabbling a little bit towards it. I feel like they went for a whole Betty Page kind of look on her. I feel like it would have worked 100%. Um, again, my opinion, it is overall a nice dress. It is very flattering on her. The cut and the silhouette is nice. Um, the train is beautiful. The sequence is a very nice element to the whole 1920s glamour. But, I don't know. It just felt like something was missing. You know what I mean? I decided, to do, uh, I decided to do another male, uh, Maluma in Versace and Maria Tash jewelry. Again, Western route, very obvious. Texas, Americana, cowboys, all that kind of stuff. Definitely you can see in the tassels of the jacket, um, in the pants, the belt. I really did like the jacket a lot. I think the embellishments were quite a nice add to it, a nice take, making it more formal, something that's usually more casual. Um, obviously, the boots, the shoes, quite obvious to the theme. I personally like it. I think it looks good. I just imagine maybe it feels like squeaky because of all that leather. But um, again, I think it's nice. Um, it's not like wow or anything, but I think... It's pretty good. Like it sits in the middle. It's pretty good. Peter Nyong'o in Versace. Apparently, I'm not quite sure, but she did a mixture of things. I've heard like so many different things in terms of the denim on denim thing. It's like apparently it's a denim on denim because of the use of denim in American culture, which I'm glad they did that. Also notice the old Hollywood silhouette, very nice element. Um, also, apparently, they said her hair was in reference as well to an artist's hair. Um, really like the combination of all the different, I guess, pieces of American history in it. I think it's a really good job, and I think she did a phenomenal um, job with it. I love the style. It looks amazing on her. Lily Rose Depp in Chanel. I like Lily, but this one was probably one of the ones that was a big miss for me because I couldn't really see the influence there it just felt 101% Chanel um, it's still a nice gown I think she makes it work like <laughs> there's pieces of it that I like but I'm not like a big fan of it like I'm not really a big fan of the whole like 2000s low skirt type thing but I think it looks good on her the use of sequins I guess could be a nod towards 20s fashion maybe but not sure overall I'm not quite sure in terms of the theme uh, in terms of the design I'm a bit uh, again she makes it work and not really one of my favorites unfortunately for the day Lily Reinhardt in Christian Serrano and Jimmy Choo shoes. This was really cute. This was nice. Um, apparently the flowers represent the different states. I thought, I thought that was a really nice touch. It's very elegant, very cutesy. Um, the construction is really good. I love how they've got that flower kind of like coming outwards from the dress. And just a little train full of flowers. That was a really good and nice touch as well. Again, it looks nice on her. It's very playful, very pink, <laughs> um, and the styling's pretty good too. Very elegant, and I think simple, but in a nice way. It says what it needs to say. What well, it says what it needs to say, and um, yeah, I think it looks good. It suits her. Is Christian Stewart in Chanel again? Texas Western sort of route. I liked it with the whole um, bumper bangs. Look, that's what bumper bangs, the like bow and lasso type thing, um, the jacket and the pants. Quite obvious which direction she was heading in. Definitely suits the Americana theme. I think it looks okay. Like, it's not like again wow or anything, but it looks comfortable. I will say that it looks comfortable. Uh, it looks good. The sequins were a nice, I think. Like wow factor to it because it could be really simple and also the hair gave it that extra Americana type of look um, overall the sleeves are interesting I just noticed at the end 
those are very interesting i like that actually that's actually a nice little touch the detailing is there it's pretty good the little beading and everything the little black trim on it again the construction is nice it's not wow wow the jacket really makes it wow um overall it still looks really good it suits her and i think it suits her personality like a lot overall yeah it's okay i Okay, I had too much fun with this one. Uh, Kim Kardashian and Balenciaga. I'm not quite sure which direction we were heading in with this one. <laughs> um, I've seen so many memes already. I, it's really hard for me to take this look seriously. Peter Pan shadow. Like, I can't even. Um, this, <laughs> this, yeah, I don't know what kind of idea they were going for. Maybe the dark times in American history or something, or maybe like the shadow period, I guess, in American history. Not quite sure, but yeah, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> We've got her sister, Kendall Jenner, in Givenchy. Um, this was interesting. This is actually also, again, my favorite, favorite gown. It's like up there with like my absolute favorite gowns for the whole night. Um, apparently she's going for Audrey Hepburn, My Fair Lady. Um, I was thinking more like the 1920s, like glistening type of thing, like, or same thing with Zoe Kravitz with like the sparkles, the diamonds and pearls of the time. I thought that was the kind of influence they were going for, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, in terms of the, the message behind it, I thought Audrey was European again. And My Fair Lady was set also in Europe, so not quite sure, but um, overall it looks really great. It looks really well fitted on her. I love the sleeves so much. <laughs> I love the sleeves so much, how you've got the bit on the shoulder draping down and then it just kind of connects down the sleeve. Very elegant, very suited to the theme. It looks amazing on her, even the train detail. It's not too big, it's not too small. I think it looks really good and literally one of my favorites. My favorite. Favorite for the night. Absolutely love it. Another one which I really like and very elegant and simple, around the same with Lily Ray and Hart, is Kaya Gerba in Oscar de la Renta. I love Oscar de la Renta as well. Absolutely one of my favorite designers. Very elegant, like Zach Prezen. Construction is very good, very um, classy type of style. I think it looks really good on her. It's very, very like old Hollywood. Um, like I said, more towards the old Hollywood route. I like the little cutout along the top. I had no idea that was separate, by the way. I literally thought that was a part of the dress. When I saw her get ready with me video and it was actually a separate piece, I was like, wow, they did a really good job in styling it. It looks really good. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly the meaning behind it or why she chose it, this particular reference she has, but overall it's very elegant. I really do like it. Very simple, um, very straightforward. <laughs> We're doing Jennifer Lopez in Ralph Lauren. She definitely went for the whole western, like, Texas cowboy type of look. Definitely obvious in the hat. She's wearing metal silver jewelry as well. Uh, the coat has a bit of fringe on the end and the big fur as well is very reference to the whole cowboy For me the fur and the tassels represent like Cowboy hustler type thing like I think it looks really cool uh, The leather as well in the belt can be referenced to the leather belts they would wear and like in their pants and everything There's a bit of lace on the train, which I think is very interesting. I like the little feather coming out from it as well Overall, I don't think it's like wow wow, but it still really suits the theme. I think she still did a really good job. Towards the old Hollywood direction is Jennifer Hudson and AZ Factory. Really like it. I like how I talked about the scallop. I'm not sure. I just call it a scallop out of habit, but like the scallop at the end of the dress, very fitting to like vintage old Hollywood. I think towards the 40s, was it? Or 50s cocktail gowns, evening gowns. I love how she's wearing this sort of like coat type of thing draped around her. The material is very interesting. Again, could be something trying to make it a bit more different, 
but the whole hourglass figure, the long sleeves, I think it's very elegant. It suits her very well. I think she looks amazing in it. Iman in Vintage Atelier Versace. Um, I like the design. I'm not quite sure exactly, like, if there was an inspiration or reference or anything, but it gives me a little bit of, like, a Hedy Lamarr in um, Ziegerfeld Girls type of style with the stars and the silver. The stars would also be a representation of the stars on the flag. Could also be that. I think it suits her really well. I think she's like kind of wearing the dress. You know what I mean? Um, overall, I like the design. I think it's very simple. Um, I guess it could go in two directions. It could be Americana theme, but it could also possibly be space theme astrology. I don't know. Just my, again, personal opinion. Gigi Hadid in, um, Gigi Hadid in Prada. Again, I really like how she went for a 60s old Hollywood instead of a like 20s, 40s, 50s direction. I like how she, her hair, I love the hair by the way, absolutely love the hair. Uh, the leather gloves, I get the whole Hollywood reference from there. Um, the cut as well, how it's away from the bust, also from a uh, time frame where they used to, I think it was the 40s or 50s, where they used to have it away from the bust, like cocktail gowns and evening gowns. Um, again, I think it suits her. It's not like wow wow or anything, but I still think I like how she went to a different time period. Not quite sure about the stockings underneath, could just be a functional reason. Um, again, she looks nice and elegant in the dress. I think it's very sophisticated and classy. Um, the design's kind of simple, but again, I like it. That's just my personal taste. I'm not quite sure in terms of the theme. Um, I mentioned earlier how there's like a theme of like Texas Western with well, some outfits and designs like that. Then there was like a bunch of old Hollywood inspiration. And then there was some that was a bit spacey and futuristic could represent the whole space race in the 60s, could also represent the whole space type thing now happening, I guess, in the American culture, technology and all that stuff. Could be that too. Um, I don't have a photo here, but uh, Grimes was wearing Iris Van Herpen. I really wanted Grimes to wear Iris Van Herpen for so long. I still just saw Iris Van Herpen designs. I thought Grimes would look perfect, like their personalities and just the whole like I guess style would just clash so well and she did and she looked great did it suit the theme not at all but if they're going for a space type of direction like the whole space race type thing or like American technology and future and space and all of that I guess it could work um Hunter Schaefer in Hunter Schaefer in Prada um Again, I think she wears the dress. I think she makes it work, makes it look good. I love this like kind of unique like headpiece she's going on. Very sleek hair and like the white eyes. I really like it. Trust me, this is like a futuristic theme for Met Gala. She would have absolutely have killed the theme. Um, again, maybe I'm not quite sure about the whole texture on the top and the skirt. I was thinking like braille a little bit, like is there some sort of like hidden message behind it? I don't know, am I just looking for a message behind it? Probably. Next one, I had no idea this was her by the way. I was so shocked, like everybody else. I was like, is she a new singer that I haven't heard about? I'll probably go have a look. It was Hayley Steinfeld. Absolutely love her transformation. So like it suits her so well. Again, she's in Iris Van Herpen and Jimmy Choo Shoes. Again, favorite designer, not sure if it suits the theme at all, but it gives me very like futuristic organism type of feeling. The next one we have is Gemma Chan in Prabhal Gurung. I'm sorry if I said the name wrong, please correct me. Um, again, I think it was a rep... Uh, I'm losing my words. <laughs> It was a reference to Anna Mae Wong, a famous um, Asian American actress from the 20s. Absolutely love her clothes, by the way, Anna Mae Wong. And I could definitely see the reference here. Again, with the cut, probably wish it was a bit longer. In Hale Bailey in Redate. Um, again, love it. I liked it. I love the fringe, by the way. Absolutely a reference to. Um, 
Probably a reference to um, Tina Turner. Really can see it. Um, I think it looks really elegant and nice on them. It's just quite well. I love the cape. Absolutely love the cape. I think it looks so elegant. Could represent also the old Hollywood kind of style direction. But I like how they didn't go towards a traditional route. They went towards a particular singer. And maybe a particular time period. Again, I think it suits them both. They look very elegant. It suits them quite well. And yeah, they look really good. I really like this one as well. Then we have Brooklyn Beckham and Nicola Peltz in Valentino. And I love this gown a lot. I think it's because it's giving me like barbie vibes <laughs> it's giving me like really strong barbie vibes obviously because like a bright pink dress it's a long gown it's simple i love the little detailing on it like little sequins and this kind of like like weird pattern i just really like it i think it suits her really well very simple the earrings are nice too it's not too much the makeup i feel like it's a bit uh, i'm trying to make it a bit more edgy probably but um again it's not bad i don't hate it but i don't absolutely love it love it love it i just think it's really nice gown gets the theme if she is going for a barbie theme if she's not then ooh. i absolutely am going to be like everybody else here i loved 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 this dress billy eilish in oscar de la renta and cartier jewelry i love the old hollywood tech obviously marilyn monroe with her hair and everything but it's the actual dress again similar to kaya's i had no idea the top part was separate i thought it was part of the dress the fact that they actually draped it around her separately very nice very good um again the train is beautiful i love it i mean it's like old hollywood to excess I guess because I never really had trains that big and that long back then correct me if I'm wrong but I think it just looks really elegant on her it's very simple very just like 1950s glamour that's it um, again I really like it I love the use of the fabric the layers again I always love Oscar de la Renta's work so I'm not even disappointed <laughs> um, again really happy with it and yeah she looks absolutely stunning I, I was like wow it looks good i love the makeup as well by the way the whole like it gave me um like the panda eyes eyeliner from the 2000s and 90s but like smudged out into like a, a 50s wig i thought that was so smart i loved that idea as well is barbie ferreira in jonathan simkai sim simkai simkey please correct me if i'm wrong um the draping in pearls dress quite obvious the 1920s i mean she's got the thin eyebrows going on um there's also uh what's it called tassels towards the end in silver i really do like this it's very elegant i love how they use the pearls as like a sleeve and it's kind of draped around it suits her so well I maybe mean, the hair could have been like a bit more different if she did more like a finger wave or like a modern finger wave type thing or i don't know maybe had it all out or something could have tied it a bit more differently that's again my taste but overall it's a really elegant dress and she looks so pretty in it and it looks so nice another one of my favorites i feel like i just threw all my favorites in this video um is a nook yoi in again Oscar de la Renta, <laughs> my favorite. She looked absolutely stunning. I think this is also possibly a reference to Hedy Lamar again, but she did it in a totally unique way. Again, absolutely stunning, obsessed with this dress. She looks amazing in it. The little detailing, the stars on the dress, how it's she from the bottom, how she's got this fur kind of, ah, um, oh, what's the word? <laughs> I can't think of the words right now. Um, how she's kind of carrying it around her um the gloves as well nice touch i think she was absolutely elegant really stunning it's very not simple simple but how it stands out but in a simple and elegant way i think they got it perfectly still giving me again towards the old hollywood vibes but again could possibly be the whole futuristic sort of direction all I have for the 2021 Met Gala looks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what outfits um, 
what looks were your favorite from this year which ones you liked you didn't like do you agree that you can see the three themes the whole western texas cowboy the old hollywood and the futuristic space ish type of look um in terms of suiting the theme i guess some got it some didn't get it there was like over a hundred <laughs> looks that night and i would like to include more but this would probably be like a one hour long video and yeah i'm, I'm getting tired of hearing my own voice again i really liked some of the looks on here i'm excited to see what next year's theme is going to be apparently it's the same i hope they just call it americana just to simplify it not to complicate it for some people or if they do go in like a space direction that'd be really cool that would be really cool actually again that's just my taste my opinion if you disagree don't hate, appreciate, leave your own opinions, your own tastes, your own flavours down below. I'd like to know which outfits were your favourite, which ones you didn't like, which ones you thought were almost there. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye!